Hi, welcome to CGY 750 part two, swash set section. This is where we're gonna get your servos going the right direction and your swash plate working correctly. Our next task is to make sure all the servos are going the right direction. So uh, put some servo arms on just temporarily, no links hooked up to them or anything, and go into the swash set menu. Set your swash type to the appropriate type. Most of us are H3120, all the T-Rex stuff is. Set your servo type. I'm running a digital uh, JR servo, and that's a 1520. I've got a chart in the support section on my website. Set your heli size. There's uh, 450, 600, 700, and 750 and more. And just adjust it over here. Flight mode. I prefer flight mode 4. Is All this does is it sets the presets in the various menus to increase or decrease the responsiveness of the helicopter. And uh, like I say, I like flight mode four, flight mode five is super quick. Next, we're gonna go to the uh, section that sets the direction of the servos. So put your collective stick at half stick and just temporarily mount some arms on your servos. And then move your collective all the way up. And when you move it up, you'll see whether the arms are going up or down. If they're going up, they're fine. If they're going down, you need to reverse that channel. So for an example, my aileron's going up. My elevator is going down. I had to reverse that. My collective was going down. I had to reverse that. Once I got that done, all the servos were going in the right direction. Now set your stick at exactly half stick. Now adjust those arms, take them off, put them back on as close to level or neutral as you can get them. Rotate them, do whatever you got to do, get them as close as you can get them. And here we're going to adjust, do some fine adjustments to get them exactly level. So my aileron servo needs to come down a little. My elevator servo is good there. If I did need to adjust it, I would move it here. And my pitch servo needs a lot of help. Let's see. My pitch servo, no, I didn't, yeah, there's my pitch servo. Minus 60 is too much. I say it's too much. It's not really too much, but you would really rather have a smaller number there. And they certainly don't have to match. But now all my servos are going the right direction. So when I move up on the collect collective, it increases the pitch of the blades. And when I move down on the collective, it decreases the pitch. Next, we're going to go to the rate. What we want to do is set this rate so that with full aileron deflection, you have eight degrees of pitch. So to do this, you need to have your collective exactly in the middle and your pitch adjusted to zero. So you would adjust the rods that go from the swash plate to the pitch arms until the blades are exactly zero. Once you get that done, move your aileron 
full to the right and use a pitch gauge to measure and adjust here until you get 8 degrees. Hopefully your value will be somewhere around 50 to 60 percent. Now rotate your head 90 degrees and do the same with the elevator. The head should be adjusted so the blades are either parallel with the boom or perpendicular to the boom. And when they're perpendicular to the boom, you're adjusting the elevator. When they're parallel with the boom, you're adjusting the aileron. Now move your stick all the way up and adjust the pitch rate until you get the maximum pitch for your helicopter. In other words, look at your manual, see what they recommend for maximum pitch, <clears throat> excuse me, and adjust here until you get that maximum rate. Hopefully that'll be somewhere between 50 and 60 percent. It's not a deal breaker if it's something other than that, it just would be nice. Now on the aileron and elevator, uh, if you get too high of a number here, that's not good. And if that's the case, what you'll want to do is increase the length of the balls on the uh, inner swash plate ring or decrease the length of the balls on the outer swash plate ring. And while we're in the swash set menu, we'll go ahead all the way through it. Phase equalization, or the phase equalizer, the default is off. You want to go ahead and turn that on. Uh, the, the rotation equalizer, default is off. You want to turn that on. Equalization direction, I've got, look at CGY 750 part 4. That explains this real well. Uh, rotor tracking, you can leave this at 0, uh, leave this at 16. And that's the swash set basic menu. Next we're going to go to the aileron uh, basic menu. And we're going to go to work mode and set that to ABCS. Now we're going to set the gain to 50%. It's aileron gain, 50% ABCS mode. Now we're going to go to direction, and we're going to pick up the helicopter, and we're going to tilt it to the left. That should result in the swash plate turning to the right. If it doesn't, you need to change this value. Mine is the right direction. I'm not going to change it. Next, we're going to go to the elevator basic menu and do the same thing. Set the gain to 50. And this is a starting gain. And you'll be actually using this gain. So, but we're going to change it to normal in a minute. Then we're going to go back to the direction. We're going to tilt the helicopter nose down. And that should result in a, a back elevator command. In other words, the swash plate should tilt to the rear, which mine does, so I don't need to change it. If it tilted forward, you would hit that button right there. Now, let's change this to normal mode while we're here. 
because we're going to put it in normal mode for the trim flight. Let's go back to the aileron basic menu and do the same thing. Now you'll see that your aileron gain is 50% and you're in normal mode. And that's where you want to start with your trim flight. That's it for part two. In the next section, we're going to make uh, the DX7 and the Governor work together in the CGY 750. If you've got a nitro machine and you're thinking about flying without a Governor, uh, forget it. It just doesn't work well. So be sure to watch part three.